Time check is now 34 minutes past the hour of nine, and this is where we welcome Dr. Baxter with Upcoming Health Issues. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Carter. How are you doing this morning, sir? I'm good, and you? I'm good, man. I'm fine. Let me say a pleasant good morning to the listeners of Sky 99.5. Always a pleasure to be in your company on a Sunday. Well, this rainy Sunday morning. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, a lot of persons um maybe in the bed still with the amount of rain that we got this morning. Uh, but of course, you will know we're here to discuss health, health from a natural and integrated perspective. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, yours truly, Dr. Jason Batson, the Executive Medical Director at Batson and Associates, where we um, basically support your health naturally. You know, that's what our um, brand says, you know, uh, and that's what we do, you know, from a natural perspective, assist persons in getting the health response that they, they want, the health, the health response that they need, you know, especially with things like arthritis, diabetes, hypertension, and, you know, so on. So, of course, this morning, you know, our discussion is interactive. I will try and speak a little less and answer more questions, or as much questions as possible. So do take advantage of that. Uh, keep in mind, we also live on our social media platforms. We are Batson and Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, it's Batson and Associates TT. On YouTube, it's Batson and Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, it's Dr. Batson. So, you know, uh, check those out. Like us, share us, tag five friends. You know, uh, we had some really interesting give up giveaways uh, last Sunday evening. You know, we did our draw for our Mother's May. We also... Uh, had our online winners as well as our international clients so um that's something that we're doing uh in the near future again but of course this time is going to be something a lot um beneficial you know in the way of a vacation so that's something to look forward to you know um follow us on our social media uh, and again, we are Batsnan Associates Limited on Facebook, on Instagram, Batsnan Associates TT, on YouTube, Batsnan Associates Trinidad, and on TikTok, Dr. Batson. So follow us, share us. You must be following the page, tag five friends. Okay, so we're discussing health. Uh, this morning, we're going to touch on uh, insomnia. Uh, Reason being, a lot of persons, for some strange reason, not sleeping properly. They're just not sleeping. They're having problems falling asleep. They're having problems remaining asleep. And even if they do sleep, when they get up, they feel like if they didn't sleep. You all get me? You know, you're always tired. You're feeling very lethargic, that type of thing. That's what we're speaking about. Why are you not sleeping? Okay. So the thing is, when you we look at um, what we do at Batson and Associates, or in fact, before I continue, let me just um, allow Mr. Carter to give you the studio numbers, the WhatsApp, as the case may be. All right, those numbers will be 625-2759 or 624-7729. Again, that's 625-2759 or 624-7729. And those WhatsApp numbers, well, that WhatsApp number actually is 333-9950. Come back to you, Dr. Watson. Yes, so, uh, so take advantage of the opportunity. Ask your questions, um, you know, and let's see how best we could you know, render some assistance to some individuals this morning. So as I was saying, um, you know, as it relates to insomnia, you know, not sleeping. The thing is, insomnia usually happens to women who have problems with PMS. PMS, of course, is an acronym for postmenopausal syndrome, which unfortunately a lot of women do not know exists and do realize that they can avoid a lot of those symptoms simply because simple simply rather if they prepare their body the problem is a lot of them don't know how to do that because i mean you go into doctors but doctors don't really know much about nutrition so then you need somebody like batson and associates where we specialize in clinic 
clinical nutrition, which is nutrition for disease primarily. You know, because people often wonder, but Dr. Max, now, you know, this particular person had this issue and then, you know, the doctors were saying, we couldn't help them, you can't get better, and then they come to you and they get better. So I said, it's not, I don't do magic, you know, it's simply application as it relates to nutrition and what type of nutrition is needed at specific points in the body. You know, when you want to speed up healing, you want to in increase or accelerate recovery in the body. <clears throat> you want to focus on dealing with the central nervous system, like particularly in this particular situation or topic as it relates to insomnia because anyone who has insomnia has a central nervous system problem um, insomnia could later lead on to things like depression and of course anxiety usually those three tend to go together especially women who have problems with pms most of the time they have insomnia depression anxiety you know feel like your heart racing off um, in some cases extreme weakness in the legs extreme tiredness uh, mental confusion um problems with emotion you know very emotional you know you literally will cry in a wedding you know um so you cry for no reason or what appears to be no reason to people on the outside but you of course crying simply because you have a hormonal imbalance problem right which is something we do do um great work with and bats and associates so of course feel free to give us a call or um visit uh, keep in mind, we're having our marathon clinics. Um, I actually worked in St. James yesterday, right? Um, I'm also going to be in St. James next week, Friday and Saturday, God's willing, um, in Shogonas on Wednesday, right? So those are open clinic days. So feel free to take advantage of that. Those telephone numbers, of course, for our head office in Shogonas. That's the first floor of Money Talks building in Montreux, Shogonas. That number again is triple two. That's triple two eight two six one triple two eight two six one. Debe is of course the corner of Ramsey Mood Street and the SS Irene Main Road in Debe. Uh, I will be in Debe the following Saturday. So I'll check the date just now to see when that is. Um, not this Saturday here, but the Saturday subsequent to that. Uh, Debe's number, of course, is two two three. That's two two three seven five one five. 223-7515. Keep in mind that all our offices has consultants every day. So you would be able to have your blood analysis, your dry blood magnetic resonance analysis scan. So you'd be able to have a better understanding as to why what happening to you happening to you. Because there's always a reason. Nobody is sick for no reason. It's just sometimes you have to know exactly where to look, how to look. Right. And that's why I like blood microscopy so much. And I often tell persons microscope work to me is one of the best when you're, when you're delving into the human body and you want to understand certain things, you know, and that's something that we do at Batson and Associates. So take advantage of it. And uh, we do have those packages available as well. And again, you know, you can have walk in clinics. That's why we do that um that's us in that particular way of course our international clients you are not left out where we can't test your blood at least not at this particular juncture um but of course we can do specific um recommendations as regards to specific blood tests like um complete blood count um kidney profile liver profile uh, uh lipid profile those um homocysteine cardiovascular and, and based on those could make specific recommendations. So it's not like if you're out of the loop completely, you know, but um, you wouldn't necessarily get the blood analysis unless you actually come into Trinidad. And we have a lot of international clients that do that. So, you know, the, the choice is yours and which is most convenient to you, you could actually, um, <clears throat> excuse me, take advantage of that. So again, uh, the, those telephone numbers again, Shabonas, 222-8261. That's 222-8261. Debe is the corner of Ramsey Mood Street and the SS Ring Main Road in Debe. That telephone number for Debe is 223. That's 223-7515. 223-7515. St. James is Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. That number is 220. That's 220-8113. 220 And Tobago, of course, is the Triangle Building in Scarborough, Tobago. We moved in our new office in Tobago, larger space. So, you know, we're able to accommodate and do so much more things. So that number again for Tobago uh, is 226. That's 226-4553, 226-4553. And of course, our Londonville office coming along nicely there, of course, is where we're going to be dealing with, <coughs> excuse me, cardiovascular, uh, gastrointestinal. So, you know, persons who have problems with um, 
inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's irritable bowel syndrome, persons who have problems with osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, but that's also going to be a therapy center. So, you know, a lot of good things coming there. So, of course, um, again, keep in mind, open um, clinic days, and of course, that is every day in all of the offices. Mr. Carter, any questions as yet, sir? Actually, yes, we have a couple of questions. Okay, about this. One is asking, what can be done to fix an irregular heartbeat? Irregular heartbeat. Well, the thing is, anything, <clears throat> excuse me, anything that has to do with the heart and beating of your heart, function of your heart, uh, which of course is part of your cardiovascular system, minerals play a significant role. Um, the thing is, a lot of people have stomach problems or digestive problems. And I always tell them, people suffer from what is known as malabsorption. So that means you might be taking vitamins, you might be eating pretty okay, pretty well in some instances, but your body is not able to absorb um, or derive the nutrients from the food that you're eating. So your body is not getting, you might be eating, let's say, quinoa, but your body is not getting the protein. Your body is not getting uh, the vitamin, the selenium, the manganese, the potassium right and that is what is um imperative so you know i always tell persons you know at Batson Associates, one of the first things we do is fix the intestines because that is vitally important to get results overall with the the number of things that you have to to do that's where santulan comes in that's where the alkagen water comes in santulan is a seven channel detox that cleans and detoxify kidney colon bloodstream level in fact system skin and your lungs so i mean a cleanser that is that um, ex extensive and diverse, for want of a better expression, in the aspects of the body that it detoxifies is going to be very effective for, you know, gastrointestinal problems. Then the alkagen water, which is available at all our offices and on delivery, um, is a uh, uh, premium alkaline water, which has an ORP of about 300. ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential. So it means you have an antioxidant premium alkaline water that's going to help your body either way i mean whether economically you can afford water or not or you choose because you know some people just blatant to tell you hey, i'm not paying for water okay good fine i'm not arguing with you that's your choice but the thing is that doesn't change the fact that if you use it you wouldn't derive benefits from it right so even if it is for the initial aspect of the cleanse then that's it you use it for that period derive whatever benefits the thing is a lot of people do take that and then they start to use it a little more often but you know you would have to know how your circumstances are and judge accordingly good um so in that particular aspect you have to fix that gastrointestinal system and once we fix that then we could get the results as it relates to that problem with the irregular heartbeat because as i said it has to do with malabsorption you are missing things minerals like potassium sodium calcium, magnesium, those four minerals tends to work very closely, especially as it relates to heart and cardiovascular function, okay? And we do have a protocol that we could do for you. Of course, we do always recommend when you're coming for your consultation and our blood analysis. So even if you have your blood test, we still want to do our blood analysis because we want to look at what is known as biological terrain. And I always tell people that's very important as regards to what we do at Batson and Associates, simply because it gives us the opportunity to look at the basic aspect or the foundation aspect of anatomy, as peculiar as that might sound to some people. Some people might be saying, but he's saying that as if, you know, you have all the answers there, but you literally do. Once you are trained blood microscopists like those that we have at Batson and Associates. Let me say, of course, a pleasant good morning to our team at Batson and Associates. And I always am very grateful for the, the team of competent and becoming more competent um, uh, persons that we have. Our consultants, of course, Mr. Vialva, Mr. Bastamante, Miss Miss Ramdan, rather, and Mr. Green. You know, um, excellent consultants, excellent blood microscopists. Uh, you know, with a lot of years of experience and expertise. So the thing is, when you're able to look and look as deep as we do, you know, we unlock a lot of answers to the questions that you had, the questions that your doctor couldn't even answer. And that's not, you know, um, trying to be facetious, but, you know, factual. I have had on numerous occasions people who would have gone to doctors and did numerous tests, I mean, multiple files, six and seven specialists, and they couldn't find the answers to the problem. And in about five minutes, 10 minutes, we were able to say, hey, this is what's going on with you, you know.
pathogens, bacteria. You see, once you're able to look at blood that in depth, you're able to understand a number of things. I tell you, your blood is the greatest sell out, you know. You don't have to say a word when you come to Baxter and Associates. I always tell people that. You can shut up. You can lie on that form. We will tell you you are lying because of what the blood tells us. Blood gives information, past, present, and future. It is the most, let me tell you something. There is no friendship with your blood. It is betrayal down the road. Sell out. Sell out your blood, not keeping any secrets. It exposes in your folly. And that's how we know. That's how we know you have digestive problems. That's how we know you have malabsorption. That's how we know you have problems with your bones where your body actually leaching calcium. People, most people who have arthritis, especially rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, is because of leaching. You know what leaching is? Your bones are comprised of a number of minerals. Your bones are made of calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. But it is in a particular form. It is stored in the bones, or the bones are primarily comprised of what is known as calcium phosphate. Now, in the form calcium phosphate, in order to neutralize an acid, you need a base, right? Basic chemistry. Good? So if calcium, in the form of calcium phosphate, is in your bones, it is very easy in an acidic environment for your body to leach calcium from your bones to alkalize your system. And that's how people end up with osteoporosis, you know. Which is why during pregnancy, women are supposed to take a number of supplements and vitamins. Because if you don't do that, the children primarily pull magnesium, calcium. Yeah, primarily magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium. So that's why women after pregnancy, sometimes you lose your teeth. That's why some of you all end up with postpartum depression. That's why you end up with a whole host of problems because your minerals have been depleted. And once your minerals are depleted, you suffer from central nervous system problems, insomnia, you have problems with depression, anxiety, bipolar, everything. Think of any possible nervous neurological problem and you can get it. Parkinson, all them Parkinson people, if you always get Parkinson, just so, no. That's lack of a lot, a number of things in the body, primarily selenium, primarily omegas. Healthy oils in the body is imperative. It is imperative for neuromuscular system it is imperative for the central nervous system it is exceptionally important for central nervous especially as it relates to autonomic nervous system parasympathetic sympathetic so that flight or fight aspect in your body that's why all parkinson and alzheimer's patients people with vascular dementia when they do ct scans and mris of the brain what do they see a lot of ischemic lesions which means they had many strokes a lot of people who have problems, you see when you have problems with dizziness, lightheadedness, you feel like you're blind, you're blurred. One minute you're seeing good, the next minute you're seeing good. One minute you remember, and the next minute you can't remember nothing. You're putting, you're putting things supposed to go in the fridge. So you're putting cheese in the cupboard and condensed milk and, and um, tin goods in the fridge. You, so that, that means you're starting to get distortions. You're distorting time and place. Cognitive function is being affected. So obviously, if you don't correct that situation, you're going to end up in some one of the situations. And don't tell me that you have Parkinson because Parkinson runs in your family and Alzheimer's. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We're using that again. That gone out did a long time. So once you have those depleted minerals, you could do what you want. You are not going to get better. If you're diabetic, that blood sugar not moving. And those are some of the things that you need to do. Okay, so again, those telephone numbers uh, for the Shogunas office. There's a tea we have called circulation tea. We also carry one called oolong. Do you know how much calcium oolong tea has in it? Pu'er, the circulation tea, joint tea, which is one of the, the, the best selling teas we have there. So it have thing for thing, as I tell you all. Mr. Carter, sir. Yes, there's actually someone asking what can be done for an adult who has allergies and sinus problems? Okay, allergies, sinus. All sinus and sinusitis people are primarily uh, people who would have liked a lot of dairy. So you would have used a lot of cheese, a lot of butter, a lot of milk. And dairy is very 
congestive to the system simply because it, it creates a lot of what we call film or, or mucus and that builds up in the in the sinuses now sinuses are primarily air passages in the primarily the respiratory system especially the upper aspect um inside of there so you're talking about a lot of airways when these airways get blocked up with with mucus you end up with sinusitis and then the thing is it's going to be affected because when sometimes your body trying to save itself so it might be draining the sinus because you have mechanisms in place that once your sinus functions are working relatively okay the body would decongest itself over a period of time of course there are certain things that would accelerate that of course the drinking of hot teas um doing those um um those nose rinses those type of things tend to accelerate you know decompression decongestion rather so you know one of the first things you need to do is decrease your, your dairy intake primarily milk especially um a lot of hot teas limit or re restrict entirely cold water um increase your water intake so of course hydration is very important there's a tea we carry at batson Associates, which is actually a long steel i recommend that to a lot of our um sinusitis asthma patients um and some significant results as regards to that uh, there's also a product we have called o2 oxygen um i don't think we have it stock right now do i know we should get in about maybe about a month time that's a very good product that actually helps to increase oxygenation in your lungs oxygenation and oxygenation sorry of cells themselves in the body which of course helps with respiratory sinus and then what happens with allergies allergies are primarily your liver just being your liver because all allergies are actually <clears throat> your liver telling you that or identifying various substances as toxic and as a result of it you're getting a, a allergic reaction so it's primarily you know work needing to do work on on liver base systems of detoxification kidney colon bloodstream lymph lymphatic system skin and your lungs and you know once you do that then we able to now mitigate um or, or bring back balance reverse the aspect um especially as it relates to gastrointestinal so um i know that was a mouthful but that was me being as thorough as i am can be so you could of course give us a call give us a visit as regards to products you could use the silver or the mineral formula always a winner with asthma, with asthma people, people, persons who have problems with the lungs, if you got long COVID, um, we have dealt with a lot of persons who got COVID like multiple times, maximum, but like five, there's somebody we dealt with who got COVID like six times. I mean, who, who gets COVID six times? But I mean, we had people who got three, four, five times and they were severe cases with their lungs, but they way better now, like way, 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 significantly improved because of the protocol that we had prepared for them. So that's something that you could also do as well. Mr. Carter, sir. Um, what type of magnesium can be used for type 2 diabetes? Magnesium chloride, mag chloro, which is what we carry at Batson Associates. I use that one the most. You have a, a number of different forms of magnesium. Magnesium aspartate, magnesium... Uh, citrate you have a lot of different magnesium but there's only so much magnesium or in particular forms in which the body is able to have maximum absorption that's like even collagen you hear a lot of people talking about collagen there's a collagen we carry at Baxter Associates, which is a collagen and hyaluronic acid and it is actually a, um uh hydrolyzed the reason why it's hydrolyzed is because collagen is a very large molecule that cannot be absorbed in the body just like that. It has to be broken down or like pre-digested so that the body gives gets maximum absorption. And that's the one that we carry. It's a little on the pricey side, but the results are exactly what you're looking for. Improvement, significant improvement in skin just with one bottle. Um, put people who have problems with serious um musculoskeletal problems so if you lost cartilage if you have problems when you tell you you need to do knee replacement serious rheumatoid arthritis osteoarthritis it's worth it's worth it it's really really impressive as, as relates for, to that so that i brought that to speak about the importance of absorption because um, in those particular cases you're not getting proper absorption of minerals in the body and that of course is going to now result in in that particular issue Okay. All right. Good morning, Doc. How can you treat a 60-year-old female with cancer in the left foot, high blood pressure, and with diabetes? She got her foot scraped 
Mm. And it has a hole. Um, can you do anything so that it would not be amputated? We can. Um, tap, let me, well, let me answer. Based on, on the, based on the information that you give me so far, I would say yes. Details now. Um, most likely you'll have a CT scan, you'll have an MRI, you would have had blood tests. Do you have to bring all the reports for me? I would have to go through them and then I could make the recommendation more specific to the case. However, in general um, experience, I would say yes, because I have dealt with some really bad um, diabetic patients with really bad wounds, diabetic wounds, um, venous ulcers, various ulcers, and they have gotten significant improvement, you know, complete healing of the wound, which is what we want. So we can do that, and we have done it before, but as I said, the details. So I'm 90% sure, yes. 10% now would depend on the test that you bring for me or the test that we would have to conduct um, at Batson and Associates. So, of course, you can give us a call. That should go on us number. It's 222-8261. That's 222-8261. Debe is the corner of Ramsey Mood Trace and the SS area in Main Road in Debe. That telephone number is 223-7515. 223-7515. St. James, of course, is the Red Edge Mall in Western or on the Western Main Road, sorry, in St. James. That number, of course, is 220. I'll be there next Friday and Saturday, God's willing. 220-8113, And Tobago, of course, is the Triangle Building in Scarborough, Tobago. That number for Tobago is 226. That's 226-4553. 226 4553 right. Um, my friend did an X-ray on her left ankle because it was swollen and peeling, and this is the result of the report. Uh, mild degenerative calcification at the insertion of the Achilles tendon and the effusion of the plantar fascia. And two, the bones are showing mild diffuse decrease in density suggestive of generalized osteopenia. Okay, good. Well, Papa Carter, you're well done, boy. Yeah, yeah. You do human, you human and social biology, boy. Well done. You yes. put on, you put on, you put on points. So well done, well done. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can do a lot for that, but that 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 basically is a symptomology, or, or in this particular case, a few symptomology, because um, you have osteopenia, you have problems with degenerative um, muscular skeletal aspects, um, bones, tendons, ligaments, whatever the case may be. So you're dealing with multiple aspects, but primarily one organ system, which is the muscular skeletal system. So we're going to have to do a lot of work there, but that again on the underlines the point I was making with acid. So that particular person had serious problems with acid. Either they had serious problems with acid reflux or they just had acid in general. Um, you know, uh, various aspects of maybe gout or maybe not so recognizable like gout because gout is usually identifiable quite quickly. Um, but some people with osteoarthritis do, don't understand you know, issues with um with losing calcium. Like people who have things like heels, bunions, people who have things like um, you know, excessive back pain, back problems, hip pain, knee pain. You have serious, you're losing a lot of calcium. You have serious acid problems in your body. You just may not be aware of it. You know, and that that's why we have to now um assess and then make the necessary recommendations. So we can help. I mean, off the top of my head, the silver with the mineral formula is gonna help. Joint T is going to help. Optimizer is also going to help too because optimizer is basically like a free radical scavenger kind of thing, um, antioxidant. Um, the uh, omega with the astaxanthin, once you're not a Seventh-day Adventist, once you're not allergic to shell food stuff, that's going to help a lot. Um, inflammation formula, always a winner with muscular skeletal cells. Like everybody who use um, inflammation formula always say, hey, my pain has significant. That product is a really, really good product. I mean, all our products are, but that product, you know, is one that stands out a lot. Um, Nerve Restore, uh, I know, we, I believe we are a little out of stock with Nerve Restore. We should be getting this week, God's willing. Uh, so no panic, right? Uh, we have you all covered. And of course, our tea circulation, tea joint tea. So in that particular situation, uh, where you're dealing with bones and that type of thing, definitely uh, your inflammation formula, optimizer, um, alkaline water, silver with mineral formula. 
you're going to be covered with, with, with those um, to reduce inflammation, reduce pain, increase mobility, that type of thing, reduce swelling. Inflammation formula is like a star for that. Anybody come with us to the foot soon, use inflammation formula, always goes down in a matter of days. Excellent product. Okay, um, so that's something you could always call, get some information on. Keep in mind, we do have road delivery. So uh, if it is you need that, you could always call and get that. Shagonas again, that number is 222 That's 222-8261. And that office, of course, is the first floor of Money Talks Building, Montrose Shogunas. So those of you who may have mobility challenges, you know, we do apologize. Shogunas office is a first floor, um, which is why we're having the one we're doing in Londonville right now. So when that finishes, at least we will have a central office as well that is able to be accessed because that's going to be primarily osteoporosis. Uh, you know, persons who have those challenges. So, you know, wheelchair access is very important, that type of thing. In the meantime, um, the you'll have to utilize Davey and St. James. And you could just get the schedule or know when would be my particular day. As I said, um, the consultant could do the blood analysis, do your entire evaluation, which would make it shorter time for you to see me and make, you know, less weight for you, which of course is always better, more effective that way. Okay, that number again for Siobhan is 222 That's 222-8261. Yes, Mr. Carter, sir. All right, someone is asking, when are you getting Optic Formula? Optic Formula? We have Optic Formula. I Optics, we have that. Um, what we're waiting on is the um, the Cataract one, the Sincera. That's what we're waiting on for the longest while. And God's willing, we should have it by COVID significantly affected those people. Uh, so we should have it, God's willing, by for the latest July, end of July, latest. Um. That was the eye drop that we were missing. That's the one for the serious, serious cataract. Remember, eye optics formula works for like cataracts, like the small cataracts, um, things like retinal detachment, macular degeneration, um, reginotus, pigmentosa, those type of things, dry eyes, people who have problems um, with blurred vision, um, dizziness, those type of things. The eye optics is general for that. MSM, we have gotten back in stock, uh, bigger bottle this time. Uh, but just as effective, uh, that helps with a number of things, improving circulation in the eyes, that type of thing. So you can just call and get those. But as I said, the sincere that one, we do have that right now. But we should be getting that God's willing by the end of July. We're going to have us on back order. Okay. All right. Um, what causes you to go to sleep perfectly well and wake up with an extreme headache? That would most likely be dehydration. You're not drinking sufficient water. Definitely dehydration. That's a sign. Your body, remember when your what your body does during sleep. Your body repairs itself. It rejuvenates itself. It re moves waste from the body. You know, there are various breaking down, building up systems that take in place throughout sleep. So if your body now reaches the point where it is severely depleted and it needed water, it's going to end up with problems with circulation. And most of the time, Headaches are a sign of dehydration. So I would go lack of water. That you need to fix. Um, if you're dehydrated, I wouldn't recommend until we get dehydration up. So you'd have to use some alkaline water. Uh, if you use like about six, eight ounce glasses for like about a month, that will get you in a good place. And then based on proper hydration now, then, well, if we're drinking it, you'll see the headaches would significantly decrease or go away completely. After that, we'll just assess and decide, you know, just to dot our I's and cross our T's. But just with the water alone, we'll get some improvement. But that's definitely dehydration. Definitely. Um, okay. Dr. Batson, I am trying to reach you as to find out what can my son do? He is experiencing blood in his urine after intercourse. Okay. She's trying to get me. Um, well... The office numbers, again, I will give you. You could call any of the office numbers. I don't know where you're located, but the day that I'm there, then you just avail yourself of that. As I said, you should go before and do the test. So when you have to meet with me, it's just a review as opposed to coming to do the test and then wait on the, the review. That takes longer. All right? Um, so keep keep that in mind. Um, well, that's definitely an indication of some sort of... Um, 
uh, UTI, urinary tract infection, which could doesn't necessarily have to be um, anything as regards to um, sexual intercourse or anything like that. It could be someone just keeping up the urine, not drinking sufficient amount of water, um, drinking too much alcohol. Those things can give it very makes it very easy for you to get a UTI. UTI, of course, is an acronym for urinary tract infection. So um, maybe they got that and it, it wasn't dealt with properly or they didn't realize it was that. And then, you know, um, you have intercourse and that, of course, is going to cause some bruise and that type of thing. And, you know, you may see some blood in the semen. Um, depending on the age of the individual, though, and if that may have happened before, it could be some form of prostatitis, which is infection of the prostate, some form of BPH, benign prostatic hypoplasia, or, or worst case, prostate cancer. But, of course, don't jump in that realm yet. I'm just telling you what could be the possibilities, right? Um, so definitely some sort of um, question in some sort of um, interview with that individual, some sort of reference to testing, because definitely you may have to do some scans depending on if it continues or, or what. But I would go the easiest way out, UTI, and that's relatively easy to correct. But if it's more serious, well, then of course, it's going to require more work. So um, I suggest you get that checked out as soon as possible. All right. All right. Hi, Dr. Matson. I'm actually listening from Miami, and I would like to wish you some of your products. How can I go about doing this? Okay, so WhatsApp us on uh, our the number is, of course, area code 868-373-2388. So again, that's 868-373-2388. And of course, we will um, take your information and organize accordingly. Okay, um, 868-373-2388. I'll put it in the arm, um, in our information there as well on the screen so that you'll be able to see it. Okay. All right. Uh, good morning, Dr. Batson. Can I use optic formula for a growth in my left eye from high exposure to the sun? Yeah, that's usually called a pterygium. Yes, you can. Um, that eye optics formula has worked in the past. Actually, this week I was talking, yes, when I was working, when yesterday, when I worked in St. James, I actually had to call a client about that um, regarding a pterygium that they had. And I was giving them advice as regards to what eye drop to use and that type of thing. So um, definitely eye optics formula works for that. The IT as well is going to help. Uh, because with people with eye problems, especially cataract, those type of things, is build up that you have. And as you get that because of lack of circulation, lack of oxygenation in your eyes, which is usually an indication of not drinking sufficient amount of water, excessive exposure to dust. You usually find pterygiums on people who are, pterygiums are that, those type of growths you see on your eye. It actually looks like a piece of skin on top of the eye, right? Um, people who are exposed to a lot of dust, so seamstress, seamstresses, tailors, upholsterers, people who work in um, oil and gas, people who work in chemicals, people who work in a lot of dust, cement, um, that type of thing. They tend to get that. So if you know you're in that industry, you need to pay attention to your eyes especially. Let me say a pleasant good morning to our social media family, Miss Vidya Abdul, who was first in the house this morning, Regina Murray, Miss Veronica Young, Miss Felicia James, Annabella B. Marge Hill says, good morning, Batson Associates and all on the live. Ms. Joan Williams Roach says, good morning. Uh, Ms. Cindy Hoyt, good morning, Dr. Batson team. Happy and healthy Sunday, everyone. Um, Annabella say, like, tag five people, share to five persons, follow. <laughs> yeah, so that's our promotion that we're doing there. So um, again, our social media platforms, we are Batson Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batson Associates TT. On YouTube, we are Batson Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, it's Dr. Batson. Let me say, of course, a pleasant good morning as well to Miss Elizabeth Mary, Miss Vidya Sub Subhadnat, Subnat rather, Miss Elizabeth Mary, Miss Fayola Rada. Miss Fayola Rada says, Dr. Batson, I have a friend. Don't sleep all night, but sleep in the day. Any reasons why? She's 69. She just needs to regulate her sleep pattern. Once you start sleeping in the day a lot, you're not going to get you're not you're not going to have proper sleep in the night. So you sort of show off your rhythm as regards to your sleep. I mean, the thing is, if you genuinely need rest, you could sleep in the day and sleep in the night. I mean, I used to do that. <laughs> right? Um, I sleep whenever I could sleep. I sorry. I 
don't have any problem sleeping at all, at all, at all. And the thing is, when you when you work and you're always busy, um, and especially when you're doing a lot of mental work, you know, which is why I tell people, you know, people who are um, directors of companies and executives and business owners, and you have to take real good care of that brain. Because believe me, if you don't take care of it, it, it is going to leave you, eh? It is going to, and then little too late, you know, a lot of people will have to cry because there are so many people who end up with Alzheimer's. Nobody should end up with Alzheimer's. Why you end up with Alzheimer's? You didn't pay attention to yourself. Or maybe you didn't, and, and this is not me trying to blame you, but that's the fact. You just didn't know what to do. You, you weren't given the proper advice or any advice at all as regards to that. But, and that's why clinical nutrition is so valuable and so important. You know, people really don't understand the importance of supplementation. They don't. I mean, not be much people trained in it in, in terms of the proper administration as it relates to clinical nutrition and being able to put together protocols. And that's what we do at Baxter and Associates. You know, that's my area of specialization. It's something I love to do because I love to see people get results. You know, I mean, you come, people come to you so, you know, needing help. And, you know, when they get the help and the desired results, I mean, you know, that feels, there's no better feeling in the world. Right, uh, Miss Annabella B. Again, uh, pleasant good morning to you, Miss Annie Grant, Miss Patricia McLean, Miss Nicole Maraj. She says, Good morning, Dr. Batsta. I have a friend with womb cancer. What products can she use? I heard chemo and radiation does not help. Also, she has a fibroid and bleeds at times. Thank you for your help. Well, the thing is, I mean, with anyone with cancer, the decision for chemotherapy and radiation is always up to them. They have to weigh the pros and the cons and decide for themselves what they want to do. You know, I tell people those things will always and should always remain personal choice. I have my personal views as regards to that where, where I am concerned, right? Um, you know, and that's something I personally wouldn't do. But as my choice based on my experience and what I know and what I believe in, you know, as regards to somebody, you know, I, I'm working with anyone, you know, uh, there are numerous things you could use. Whether you, whether you know it cancer, green is your friend. Always remember that. Um, because anything green disrupts cancer. <clears throat> a lot of people don't know that. And disrupts it in the sense. Excuse me. And disrupts it in the sense that green is, is very powerful. Cancer, what makes cancer so deadly is that cancer has the ability to hide um, because cancer primarily is a result of an immune dysfunction. Once the immune system functions properly, you can't get cancer. No. That's impossible. No. Regard, I, I don't care what anybody else say. That That is a fact, which is why research now is going to more immune therapy as opposed to chemo and radiation. A lot of people deviated from that now and looking at the immune therapy route because they realize cancer, of course, is an immune central, an immune system, sorry, dysfunction. Once your immune system is functioning properly, you cannot get cancer because cancer is an unusual duplication of cells. Your body is designed to pick up anomalies as it regards to cells. That, but that is an immune system function. So in dealing with cancer, fighting cancer, greens are powerful as it relates to stripping proteins and those type of things. Because a lot of cancers have protein shells that isolate them so they're able to spread in the body, create tumors and those type of things. And once it gets a blood supply, well, that's the day. Yeah, serious problems. And those are what fibroids begin to be. Like fibroids are early, but, but that's primarily what we call necrosis. So that's something. So you're looking at your greens, um, advanced chlorophyll, uh, inflammation formula, uh, the uh, um, silver, the mineral formula, those type of things. Um, even wheat grass, which I love. That's something I really like. Um, very beneficial um, as regards to cancer as well. So a number of things there. We do put together protocols for those type of cancers. The thing is, the, the protocol could differ depending on the type of cancer. Like pancreatic cancer, you usually have to deal with very aggressively because pancreatic cancer is a, a very aggressive cancer. Like one the most aggressive, simply because of the, the organ, the function that the organ um plays in the body. Um, you know, your pancreas has significant 
your pancreas does not only deal with um blood glucose and those type of things there are numerous functions as regards to digestive metabolic um its relationship with things like your liver your spleen different aspects of your gastrointestinal system um um uh, gastrointestinal as well as metabolic i want to remember sorry system so that's why it's such an aggressive cancer. So the protocol has to be an aggressive protocol. When you deal with wound cancer, you know, lung cancer is also very aggressive. So when you're dealing with that, that again has to be specific. But early detection of that usually helps. That's why I tell smokers, you know, if you know you to smoke, take certain things, you sell out your mineral formula, get a little immune booster, get a zinc. You can't be smoking every day and don't expect to, you know, try and mitigate some of the, um, the damage that, the cigarette is doing right so again those telephone numbers and location shagonas first floor money talks building in montreal shagonas that number is triple two eight two six one that's triple two eight two six one debe is the corner of ramsey moon trace and the ss area main road in debe that telephone number for debe is two two three that's two two three seven five one five Two two three seventy five fifteen. St. James is Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. That number for St. James is 220. That's 220-8113. Mr. Carter, sir. Good morning, Dr. Watson. I would like to know what can be used for kidney stone or gallstone. Kidney stone or gallstone? But olive oil always works really good for that. Olive oil. A tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of lemon. Um, yeah, that would that would help. Um, and then you flush with a santula. Santula is very good for gallstones. We had a lot of persons that that you know um got some serious relief with that. Uh, the gastrointestinal tea can also help you as well. Um, a lot of hot teas, no coal. When you have stones, you don't use well. Coal is something that you shouldn't use internally. I always tell people that. Coal encourages necrosis, which is poor cell division, um, infection in the in, in the cells, that type of thing. So hot is always better. Hot tea, no milk, no sugar, of course, makes it even better, right? Because of the tannins and of course the the the, the benefits that you get from those. And you know, at Batson and Associates, we carry a wide variety of tea, you know, um, getting a lot of new ones. Um, there's one that we got there very impressive we should have that out in about the next three weeks um i'm excited about that because that's going to help with hypertension circulation there's a very good circulation tea as well but hypertension is going to help its strong point is there um you know hypertension circulation mood um sleep as well not doesn't make you sleepy but you know actually facilitates sleep something like what nerve restore assist you in doing good um so that's something to look forward to yeah all right. Good morning, Dr. Watson. Can Optimizer help with insomnia and dementia? Optimizer would help in the improving blood circulation in the brain. But when you're dealing with that, you need a lot of um, omegas, one. Um, specific type omegas as well, too. Not any and any one. Um, you would also have to get things like nerve restore cerebral. Um, because we actually have to improve that blood circulation to the brain. The problem with people who have, have those type of issues is you have problems with proper blood circulation um, Sorry, to the brain. And as I said, what if you're not getting proper blood circulation or what we call proper cerebral or cerebrovascular circulation, you're going to be in problems. That's where the dementia, that's where the memory problem comes in. That's where the dimming of the eyesight comes in. That's where the vertigo away, always feeling dizzy, dizzy, like your head spinning. That is a serious, serious sign of poor pulmonary circulation, which is primary circulation above the heart. And if you have pulmonary hypertension, that make it even worse. A lot of people don't understand the link between high blood pressure and kidney disease. All those people who are end up on, on dialysis machines, were very bad hypertension patients. Very, very bad. Taking all kind of four and five medication for hypertension. That's madness. You are going to end up, your kidney is going to blow on you. And that's what happens. So mind your business, right? If it is check, make sure you're doing your numbers, check in your blood pressure. If you know you have blood pressure, have a proper functioning machine at home. A blood pressure machine is not a million dollars. So don't tell me nothing about money. 
I'm going to say about 200 and something, uh, save the money. Because you need to know what is going on with you. Just recently, I was in the Ministry of Health, something on the news, they were saying the Ministry of Health was talking about hypertension and how many people in this country have hypertension and they don't know. You know how much years are telling all of that? They now come in to tell all that. Years now are telling you all that. Because in my experience in working with people at the clinic level at which I work at, and we work at, and the number of people that we deal with on a daily basis, is going to indicate exactly what's going on. We and we see a lot of samples, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and the numbers are there. So mind your business. Get a pressure machine and monitor your blood pressure. When I say monitor, write it down. Don't tell me nothing about the machine and memory. It didn't take any a million years to do that. Write it down. Do like you in school. You have to mind your business. That's the problem with you all. The doctor can't mind your business. The doctor don't live in your house. As always, tell all of that. Mind your business. You know you're diabetic. Make sure and have your machine. Yes, I know sometimes they had the machine and then they change the strip on you, but such is life. Put aside your money for your health. Your health is your wealth. You hear people say that? It's better you spend a little money now than your weight. You know it is the gas stroke? You would, I, I tell somebody the other day, a, a lady came to us. She said, Dr. Watson, I remember listening to you and you say something at the time. You say, if you think, Getting a heart attack is is bad. Get a stroke. You don't want a stroke. I so always tell people you're better. You, you prefer get a heart attack. They quite telling you. Stroke. Stroke is real problems. And it is very expensive. Post post treatment stroke is very expensive. That could run you into hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I ain't talking about by me, eh? Because if you get a hundred thousand dollars in product, you could live to about what two thousand years. What are we trying to do? No. I talk about physiotherapy. You know how much for a physiotherapy session? Cheapest must be 250 if you're lucky. That could go up to $500. And a stroke patient might need a physiotherapy session every day or maybe every other day for at least two, three months. Check how much money that is. And you think it hard to spend a little money and buy some circulation tea or buy some sort of something in the pharmacy to help you out and talking nonsense about expensive take what you don't want that stroke you don't you don't you don't you don't the injection alone for stroke could be about two thousand dollars you want stroke no man you don't want that so that's why i always tell people if you think health expensive try sickness when you tell about triple bypass i was talking about that the other day some people say this make it feel like if there's a there's a status thing, you know. You know, I, I had a triple bypass and I had a quadruple. No, that is nothing to boast about. You should be shame. That is nothing to celebrate. Hush. Don't tell people that. That is not something you should be going around telling people. Because it means you was doing some nonsense for you to end up in that situation. You didn't get that just so. So that is nothing to be proud about. Nothing. And if it is you don't change that diet. You're gonna end up having to do our next bypass. So they'll be only cutting you and you'll be only be they'll only be cutting you open every minute because you're hardened and you're not listening and you're not doing what you're supposed to do. So don't do yourself that now. Okay? You having problems with post circulation, we have things for that. You have problems with your eyesight, we have things for that. You have problems with your bowels, digestion. Digestive balance, I do apologize for you guys. I know we have been out of digestive balance for a while, but that is, again, you know, a little offspin of COVID kind of thing. But we should be getting, we have digestive restore in stock, but digestive balance, we should have God's will in, in about the next three, two to three weeks for the most, right? Um, we have gastro tea, so that also helps um, significantly with that as well. So that's something you could also pay very close attention to. Keep in mind, again, we are live on our social media platforms. On Instagram, we are Batson. On Facebook, sorry, we are Batson and Associates Limited. On Instagram, we are Batson and Associates TT. On YouTube, Batson and Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, Dr. Batson. Remember, like us, follow us, share us, tag five friends, okay? You could win a serious prize. Okay, Miss Grace Williams, pleasant good morning to you. Uh, Miss Nicole Mirage, good morning to you. Uh, someone asked a question there. She said, what can you use for high blood pressure and diabetes? That was, that's Miss Nicole Mirage asking this question. Um, high blood pressure and diabetes. Do you think it's hypertension? As I said, is linked to minerals. 
deficiency, sodium, potassium especially, and that's very going to affect your heart. Meat eaters as well. When you eat a lot of meat, and you know yourself, you have to make sure and detoxify. You have to make sure and drink a lot of water. The problem is you always do too much of the wrong things, like too many bad things and nothing good, and expect to be healthy. That don't make sense, right? It just don't make sense. So, you know, if you're eating meat, lessen down some of the meat and do more clean out, detoxify your body. Meat creates a lot of nitrogenous waste in the body. That creates problems with hypertension. Most hypertensive people are people who love meat. I'm not saying that you don't have vegetarians that could be hypertensive. Eh? Don't, under, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, in most cases, because of that high protein, high nitrogenous waste in the body, in the blood especially, you end up with hypertension problems. Remember, hypertension is what? High pressure in your arteries, your arteries, which is why it significantly affects the renal artery, which in turn affects the kidneys, which is why hypertension creates problems. If you have high blood pressure, uncontrollable high blood pressure, you're not listening, you're playing hard, and you're eating salty food, you're eating sauce, you're eating chow, you're eating everything with pepper and salt in it. You are going to end up on a dialysis machine. I am not asking you, I am telling you. Check yourself. Mr. Carter, sir. All right, can we use two circulation tea bags instead of one? Yes, you can. Those teas we carry, I always tell people use two bags, but use the bags two to three times. So when I do teas, I would put three, well, I would put two, rather, in the, the teacup, and I would drink that for the entire day. Especially because that day when I work, busy day, I drink a lot of tea during the day. So you could reuse the bags. The bags are strong enough that you will get some, you know, some benefit from what is in there. So at least tip the bags twice, three times. Okay. Right, we have another question. All right, the person actually said thank you so much. Um, that's it on our end for now. Okay, good. So let me see here. Uh, so I answered Miss Nicole Mirage's question. Um, Victory saying good morning, Dr. Basson and Associates. God's blessings to everyone, honey. Can't say what I want to say this morning. Lord, good morning, Doc. Thank you. Good morning, to staff and viewers. Cindy Hoyt, good morning. And honey, is in the house as usual, guys. Uh, Miss Nicola Heard, of course, out Antigua. Pleasant good morning to you. Miss Pamela Moses, down south. Good morning, Doc. Miss Joan Garcia. Miss Melissa Richards. Good morning to you. Uh, Annabella. <laughs> Annabella B, where's that doctor? So, all they see, all they, all they start to get trouble this morning. Annabella B, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. Miss Cheryl Cooper says, good morning. Um, Annabella say after Jesus is sent to land that seven channel detox. <laughs> Miss Frederica Joseph, good morning to Dr. Batson and Associates and all the listeners. Thank you for everything. God bless. Ms. Melissa Richards, Dr. Batson, should they loop us? An anxiety patient take a detox, and if they did, the result the patient was clean, but the patient has not taken a clean out for a while now. What can suggest? What can you suggest is the next step just now? Let me read this over again. Dr. Batson, should a lupus and anxiety patient take a detox? And if they did, the result the patient, okay, I think they make some mistake, you know, the result, the patient was clean, but the patient had not taken a clean out in a while. What do you suggest as the next step? All right. Um, I think I cannot understand your question, but I'll, I'll answer it in this particular way, so I think I might cover what it is, I think, the questions. Okay, so lupus patients. Okay, so once you deal with lupus, you deal with autoimmune sit situation. That person from integrative medicine, you have a bad digestive system. That digestive system is horrible. It is significantly compromised. Anxiety, same thing, compromised gastrointestinal system. Most likely that person has leaky gut, which is something that we need to fix. Um, As regard to detoxifying a patient like this, when I'm dealing with people who have high... Of course, when we do the blood analysis on you, we will see the level of oxidative stress. Loop people with lupus and all autoimmune conditions, so lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, diabetes, fibromyalgia, um, uh, connective tissue disorder, um, uh, all those autoimmune conditions, asthma, all those things, you basically have serious problems with your intestines. 
So uh, de detoxifying a patient like that who does not drink water and who is not properly um, hydrated, you're going to be in problems. I would recommend that. What the person going to have to do, they're going to have to gradually detoxify the person, build the system, and then we do a major detox. But major detox is going to be way down the road. Um, and that's how I usually deal with my lupus patients, and they get very good results. The ones that follow follow through and, and maintain what they need to maintain. Okay, so that's something that you could uh, pay attention to and uh, get some products. Products that would help with that um, silver with mineral formula. Actually, we're treating a lot of um, autoimmune condition patients. Londonville office is actually going to specialize in that as well with autoimmune situations, so rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, lupus. I feel so sorry for people with lupus. So if I only know how sorry I feel for you because I find they suffer unnecessarily, like real suffer for nothing. But again, you know, I tell people I am not the doctor for everyone, nor is the type of medicine I practice the medicine for everyone. And I understand that and I respect that. But I still feel sorry for you, you know, so such is life. Um, Mr. Carter, any questions? Uh, not as yet. I'm seeing someone I'm recording up audio, so we need to see what happens there. Okay, good. So let me see. Miss Carol Meyer says good morning. Uh, Miss Patricia Gulston, good morning. Miss Denise. She said, good morning, I'm listening, of course, from uh, Antigua there. Miss Abigail Whiskey says, good morning. Uh, Miss Cheryl Cooper says, good morning. Joy Lewis, good morning, Dr. Batson. Is Bali and Sego good to use regularly? Bali and Sego. Um, yeah, that's actually a good combination. You have some protein in there. You'll get some minerals, some magnesium, some selenium, because that's like green family. Yeah, good to use. Um, Miss Denise H. Winchester, Dr. Watson, I want Mr. S I want Mr. Silver, <laughs> or oh, my sister, Mr. Silver Gel, when can I get it? You'll get that next month, my dear. When I say not next month, sorry, by the end of this month, my apologies, you will get that, okay? James Dawn, or Dawn James, rather, good morning, Dr. Batson. Could you give some information about the enzyme formula, how to use it, and what it is best for? Good question. Okay, so enzyme formula is a product we carry at Batson and Associates that is primarily enzyme. Now, what are enzymes? Enzymes are needed by the body to break down things, right? So protease, for example, is the enzyme for protein. Amylase is the enzyme for starch. Lipase is the enzyme for lipids, and you go on. Then you have various forms of enzymes. So in clinical nutrition, we understand the importance of enzyme as roles for chemical reactions in the body. So what enzyme formula does is a combination of enzymes that actually work to break down um, inflammation in the body. So someone who has a lot of joint pain, enzyme formula will help you. If you have blocked arteries, enzyme formula would help you. If you have fibroids, it will also help you. Fibroids are usually easy to deal with, but the problem with fibroids is usually very expensive to deal with simply because of those enzyme formulas, because they work well for fibroids, but enzymes are very pricey because of where they are derived from. You have enzymes that you get from silkworms. You have enzymes that you get from natto, like, for example, natto kidneys and those various type of enzymes. So when we do an enzyme combination, you know, it's going to be a little on the pricier side. So, but the problem, the thing is you get the effectiveness. So that's why, you know, as I said, people are onset prevention is better than a pound of cure. Women with fibroids do not stay there and say, well, you know, the fibroids not bother me. Fibroids can grow very quickly, especially when you are stressed, when your cortisol level is very high. If you want to interfere with soy products, which are phytoestrogens, any estrogen is going to increase fibroids. Chicken, chicken, chicken. And you know, you all love that chicken. So in eating that chicken with your little licorice greedy self because they love the chicken and you don't want to stop the fiber is going to get bigger so i don't know what you're doing okay um uterine formula is a very good product for that that is a product we carry and that's an associate that's help for fibroids the enzymes as well help for fibroids uh women's formula is very good because that actually balances the hormones in general note to all of you who normally use women's formula you'll notice this batch of women's formula we get here is very dark Keep in mind, it is the same product. It is just time of harvest. Remember, when you're dealing with plants, 
um, you know, you could get sometimes you get a lighter, lighter green as opposed to a darker green. Um, this one is a, is a proper combination too as well. So less of the flowers, more of the bark stems kind of thing. So the pink is not as pink. It's more on the brownish side. So note that, right? Because I know a lot of you are going to ask. Okay. Uh, but definitely better quality product. Uh, improve. And that's something that we always try to do with Boston Associates, you know, improve and get better and better in what we do so that we would be able to help more of you guys, right? Uh, as regards to uh, Ms. Victory is asking the question uh, just now. Michelle Yan Thompson says, Hi, is there any truth about applying raw onion to the scalp and gray hair to eventually restore the hair to its previous natural color? Um, mm. I believe it, it can be done. You're just going to have some patience. But there are a number of things that could actually cause gray hair to turn back black. Um, I just not try it with my beard because I just like my green side of my beard. So I just really not try it. But <laughs> um, if it is, it, the thing is, uh, there are things, but I just believe the consistency of it. You know, um, I use a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, I just think, as I say, I don't know, maybe it just um, plans to stay there. Um, because it should at least by now. But I think maybe the application, I would I, I never did the application. I did it internally, right? So I think maybe that's why it's taking that long, but it hasn't really changed. Miss Barbara Alene, let me say a pleasant good morning to you, my darling. I hope all is well with you. Um you know, uh, you M you MIA a bit, but I know it um is not MIA, but you know, we will speak. I hope all is well with you. Miss Ulla Williams says, Dr. Batson, very painful knees, arthritis in the knees, was told by doctor, help needed. Of course, um, the uh, that product that we carry, the collagen with the hyaluronic acid, you could get that product on pre-order. We um, usually take a down payment for the product half down, and then when we bring it to you, when we get it, and you come for it, you pay the next half down, because we do not stock that product. Okay, but that is definitely going to help everyone who we have with arthritis got help with that inflammation formula. Always big on arthritis, always big for knee pain, swelling, those type of things. Um, in addition to that, the uh, um, omega with the astaxanthin, very good as well for that. All right, Miss Ola Williams, joint tea as well is also good as well. Okay, Miss Shelly Ann Thompson says, thank you. You're very welcome, Miss Cheryl Cooper. Can you give some information about the proarginine, how to use it, and what is it for? Proarginine is a basic, a basically a L-arginine supplement that we carry. Very good product, high demand product. I use it a lot this morning. I used it. I used it last night as well. Good product, nitric oxide. Men, that product actually helps with maintaining proper erection. It also helps with cardiovascular function, cardiovascular health. That's one of the things that I always incorporate in, in a lot of our protocols because it's a product I like. Um, you know, L nitric oxide plays a significant role in vasodilation, vasoconstriction of blood cells in the body, and it plays a significant role in cardiovascular health and cardiovascular fitness. So that is the reason why it is a very, very good product, okay? Uh, Miss Sharon Theodore says, good morning, Dr. Batson, loving the fix up here. Do I see you got time to get it done? Yes, I did. I went and got my hair organized um, because the people who normally deal with my business wasn't here. And, you know, so um, a particular institution whose name I will call maybe next time uh, because uh, she did a very good job. Very, very good job. Um, you know, so I went and fixed my fixed my locks. Right. Um I'm now growing. Oh, she says she's not growing mines. What can I do to get it as thick like yours? Um, the thing is I tell people what you're here, you know, make sure and use your vitamins. Um, your vitamin A, B, C, D, E, a multivitamin, your omega is very important. I use um a lot of nerve restore. Uh, because that product is, you know, it really helps. Um, I find personally with here, uh, the uh, advanced chlorophyll is also a very good product as well. Silver mineral formula always, you know, uh, so that's what I do basically there. Yeah. Okay. Honey, basically we don't need, oh, we don't need to turn that beard black. Don't you dare try. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. So again, um, that number for international clients um, to have your... Um, 
consultation, your Zoom consultation, your health consultations. Uh, that number, of course, 868-868-373. That's 868-373-2388. Let me say a pleasant good morning to our Instagram family. Uh, let me see what questions I see you guys have here. Miss Jennifer Valentine, as usual, pleasant. Um, good morning to you, Miss Jennifer Valentine. Thank you so very much for the gift. I finally got it. Um, and I'm greatly appreciative of it. Thank you so, so very much um, for that. And I, it was a gift of good health. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, a pleasant good morning to uh, Ms. De La Hennessy. Good morning, gracious doctor. Good morning to you. Uh, so again, we are live on our social media platforms. We are Batson Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we're Batson Associates TV. On YouTube, we're Batson Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, it's Dr. Batson. Uh, again, uh, Mr. Carter, you could remind them of the telephone numbers of the WhatsApp uh, so we could get some questions in before we are ready to wrap up. All right, those questions those numbers, sorry, are 625-2759 or 624-7729. So please feel free to call directly to have a conversation with Mr. Batson. And you can also send your WhatsApp to 333-9950. Also, we have a voice note that, um, that was loaded. I just finished loading, so let me play it for you. Okay. Mr. Batson, good morning. Can you tell me something? When I take my pressure, I just get like 32 over 90, and if um 67 might be the um pause. But I always get like 90, 91 below on top of the goal. What can be causing that? And the next thing, um, concern of breast cancer. Right, I haven't gone and checked, but I was again a little choking in the breast. I, I examine it and I haven't been, I ain't feel no lump or nothing. But for um, the, uh, what can I use? I'm doing my greens, I'm doing my detox, you know, I'm using the um, circulation tea and those kind of things. You know, what else can I use? I don't eat a lot of meat and those things, but what else can I use? Tell me where's the problem with the blood pressure. Always giving me 90 or 93 below, but on top of the normal. Thank you. <laughs> okay, great, great. Good questions. Um, okay, the thing with blood pressure, remember, okay, systolic top number, diastolic lower number. So we know they, they normally tell you 120 over 80, right? Um, 120 systolic, diastolic 80. Now remember. Diastolic pressure is basically your heart at rest. That's what they check in, right? So if you have a high diastolic or a high lower number, it usually is an indication of an underlying blood circulation problem. I would believe at the end of the day, the vascularity, because blood pressure is affected or is con there are a number of things that could contribute, let me say it like this, to blood pressure. Most of the time, it has to do with the vascularity of your blood vessels. Remember, hypertension, again, is high pressure in which blood vessels? Your arteries. We have three types of blood vessels, right? Arteries, veins, capillaries, right? The arteries are larger in terms of diameter, right? But the veins are more elastic. So what happens if it is you have your lower number always over 85, always over 90? or over 100, well, then you have real problems. It means that you have an underlying circulatory problem, which is most likely um, the very hardening, early signs of atherosclerosis, which is hardening of your blood vessels, that type of things, which could be corrected. Um, someone is asking a very interesting question here. Before I go to the question that you asked with the breast, right? Um, Ms. Frederica Joseph says, Dr. Batson, I drink two and a half liters of water. I also drink four cups of your herbal teas every day. Question, can I count the teas as part of my required water intake? Thank you. Technically, yes, you can count tea because tea is like valuable. So very quickly, one of the things I tell people, you need to look at what is valuable liquids. Soft drinks are not valuable liquids. Juices, those, especially ones with these coloring, not valuable coffee not valuable so when you're counting valuable liquids now you're talking counting things like maybe if it is you're using an inflammation formula or a advanced chlorophyll or some wheatgrass or some greens you buy or something like that and you mix that in water that's useful 
if it is you dilute some sort of vitamin um, liquid, a, a, a B vitamin, liquid B vitamin in water, useful. You understand what I'm saying? Beneficial to the body. Teas, beneficial to the body. So technically, you could count that as fluid intake because it is positive and healthy for the body. The other one we don't count because that puts a lot of load on the system. So that's like the coffee, the soft drink, the juice, those type of things, right? You're trying to stay away. Milk, try to stay away. You don't want too much of that in your diet. Okay, and back to the question with the breast. You said you get a slight choke, but you're not feeling any lump. I would recommend you could do a breast ultrasound. Mammograms are, you know, their breast ultrasound I prefer as opposed to mammogram. But I mean, if we have, if we have, if we reach a point we have to get it done, we have to get it done. Yeah, there's obviously all these things you could use to take that radiation out of your system, right? But um, as regards to women, I always tell them the castor oil mix. You know, one tablespoon of castor oil or one teaspoon of castor oil to one teaspoon of coconut oil. You heat it a bit and you apply it under your arms, on your breast, but not on, it, not on your nipple, right? You leave it there. That's very good as a lymphatic drainage. It helps with lumps and that type of thing. You can also go and buy a vitamin E supplement um, and double the dose. And you take the vitamin E for like about three months. That helps with, with lumps in your breast because a lot of the times women actually get lumps in the breast because of one dehydration and because of lack of healthy oils in the, di in, in the diet. So as a result of that, you end up with like little blockages in the, the that fine blood vessels that in the mammary glands and those mammary areas and you end up with that type of problem. So that's something that you could actually do as well. Okay, so I think I answered all of your questions. There, there was a next question um, oh, where she was asking if the pro-arginine is the same as L-arginine. Um, no, you have, well, L-arginine is the precursor to nitric oxide, L-arginine, and L-citrulline are two amino acids. Those amino acids, your body break them down and it actually produces nitric oxide. If you know about Caricin and NASDAQ, they use nitrous oxide to give um, for acceleration, right? Right, so nitric oxide in the cardiovascular system helps with vasodilation, which is slackening or relaxing of the blood vessels, and vasoconstriction, which is constriction or, or um, when the blood vessels actually close in, in. And that is what nitric oxide modulates so the thing is if your nitric oxide levels are low you're going to have cardiovascular problems you're going to have hypertensive problems and that is what the um l arginine product that we carry at Batson and associates does okay uh miss josie i answered that question carl thomas says pleasant good morning dr Batson and team i trust that you all had a marvelous weekend so far well i have had a good one so far well i worked yesterday but what was good um, I worked in the St. James office yesterday. I'll actually be there next Friday and Saturday, God's willing. I'll be in Shogunas on Wednesday. So take advantage of that. Of course, we have consultants in our offices every day. So you can take advantage of those walk-in clinic days. Okay. Uh, Mr. Carter, sir, any questions on your side? Yes, we have a couple. Okay, uh, hi, Doc. Do you have treatment for a yellowish vaginal discharge. I have been treated by my gynae more than once at a very expensive cost. Um, my husband was also treated and they still have the discharge and there's a mild odor. Okay, well, give us a check. Both of y'all have to come though. So both of y'all both, both will come. We'll do your blood work. Uh, bring in any test that you would have and let's deal with that for you. We'll fix that. Those things, you have to understand that infections hide in tissues. And for you to get them out of the tissue, you need to do more than antibiotics and those type of things. That require a lot of cleansing on a different level. And that's something that we do. So feel free to give us a call or visit that number at the Felicia Bonas office. That number is 228261. That's 228-261. Davy is the corner of Ramsamud Street and the SS Erie Main Road in Davy. That telephone number for Davy is 223 7515. That's 223 7515. St. James is Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. That number for St. James is 220 That's 220 And Tobago is, of course, the Triangle Building in Scarborough. Tobago, that number for Tobago is 226 4553. Again, that's 226 4553.
over to you, Mr. Carter. Right. I have bad acid reflux. I take omeprazole. My throat is always feeling sore even when I don't get the stomach burning. What is the worst that can happen from acid reflux? And can I drink water? I am 220 pounds and I drink over 2,000 milliliters a day. 2,000 milliliters, that's what I two liters of water. Um, no, I ain't drinking enough water there yet. Um, the thing is, as regards to acid reflux situations, a lot of times, uh, acid reflux, if left unchecked, could later on cause problems, um, like Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, that type of thing. There are some habits that people practice that can cause them to get acid reflux and could actually, if you stop it, can mitigate or lessen the bouts of acid reflux that you get. One, eating and drinking simultaneously. Worst terrible habit that you could practice, do not do it. It messes up your digestion. It significantly dilutes your, di your digestive juices and creates acid reflux problem. Two, pepper. You know, all the pepper lovers who love, love, love pepper. You want pepper, pepper. If you don't burn, you don't feel good, watch yourself. Oily food, fried food. People who like to indulge in a lot of fried foods, problems. Those things tend to cause problems with your esophagus, the lining of your intestines, and cause serious problems with acid reflux. As regards to what we carry at Baxter and Associates, the gastrointestinal tea is a good product. Very good um, response um, from a number of persons with that particular product. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, the uh, digestive restore, digestive balance. As I said, we do have, we wouldn't get that until like maybe the next two weeks. But that's also a very good product for helping with the acid reflux. Santulan is also good. The alkogen water as well would help with that situation. Okay, uh, as regards to, there's, I think, one other part of the question. Oh, I covered everything. You would have covered everything. Yes. Covered everything. Okay, good. Right. Yes. Next, next question. All right, Dr. Watson, can I use the Santolan and olive oil with the raisin mix at the same day, at the same time? Let me hear that again. Um, can I use the Santolan and right. olive oil with raisin mix the same day? I, I think that's what he meant. Or the same day. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, just different times. That's all. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask the question before. Um, he said, actually, that's the lady um, who would have had the situation with her husband. She said, thank you, and she will be visiting you soon. Okay, great. No problem. All right, that's it for now on, on this end. Okay, good. So uh, let me see any more questions on the live. So you guys on the live, keep in mind, um, you are part of the conversation as well. So if you have any questions, keep in mind we are Batson Associates Limited on Facebook. That's Batson Associates Limited. Remember our promotion that we're having, um, which is going to be a destination promotion. Eh? So we're sending you all somewhere. So, but you know, you're going to have to work for that, right? So what we're going to do is you're going to have to like, like us, share us, follow us, tag five friends, but it's going to be specific. So we're going to be um, launching that from like uh, this month here, we're going to do it. And it's going to run for maybe about two, three months. Um, we're just finalizing that. Um, but it's going to be specific promotions as regards to our open clinic days or various testing uh, packages, that type of thing. Basically promoting Bats and Associates and what we do. Um, also like our testimonies um, where we're actually going to boost or, or promote a particular testimony, you know, because so many persons getting good results. And, and that's what I like about testimonies. I tell people, you know, if everybody could give me a testimony, I'll be so glad for it. But of course, you can't force people because, you know, a lot of people are very private. Some people, you know, they just think but the thing is your testimony could either be written audio video yeah so if you're shy written testimony is good right um you know but, but you know we um, i tell people because sometimes we get testimonies and my um marketing people want to interfere with it and i tell them no do not interfere with it i don't care how bad it is grammatically worded i don't care how it is authentic and that's how i want it i want people's experience an authentic experience expressed by an individual will always be just that authentic priceless you can't fix that and i don't want it fixed and i don't ever want them fixed you know um let us get it in its rawness 
you know, because the person is so thankful and so grateful and really appreciative of what they experience that that really transcends the whole um, interview or the whole testimony, you know, um, really compelling too, you know, and again, that really helps people to who, you know, have the same problem because that's the thing with a lot of persons. A lot of persons may have lost faith in the medical community, lost faith in doctors. I know a lot of you have, um, but, you know, I'm not saying all doctors are bad, nor am I saying all of them are good either. But um, I try to be a good doctor and I, uh, you know, try to help people as much as I can. Um, I tell people there's some expense involved in that, but because you're spending money on you, it is for you. That's just like the girl who I went by to do my, um, who is my loctician now. She was saying, um, but Jason, that, you know, um, you know, when she speaks to people about because she actually did a consult with me and actually asked me if I take vitamins and that type of thing. And I was so impressed because, you know, a lot of people ignore those things. They don't understand that you're here for you to have thick, nice here, for you here to grow. You have to eat properly. You have to take proper vitamins that encourages hair growth. And she was the first person who actually advocated that and mentioned it and, you know, um, documented it and gave advice on it which was so amazing to me. So the point I'm making is that, you know, when you understand anatomy and physiology and what the body needs, you have to put some, you know, she was saying, she was telling them, this is your hair, this growing out of your scalp. This is a re representation of you. And you can spend money to buy some vitamins for your hair. You all understand what I'm saying? So you have to, you know, like yourself and understand the importance of taking care of yourself. You know, especially when you have a problem, whether it be diabetes, hypertension, you know, whatever it is. Okay. Right. Uh, yes. And Annabella, we say, Annabella B says, don't forget to follow, like, share, and tag friends. Yes. And she's tagging friends already. Nikisha, Kelshal, Crystal, Charles, only Annabella B in on plane. Eh? She's making sure and tag. So you all get on the promotion and do what you need to do. Right. Uh, any more questions, sir? Um, we actually have some calls coming in, so let me take that call. Okay, good. Yes, hello, good morning, your life. Yes, good morning. Um, Dr. Batman. Good morning. Hi, Mr. Black Silver. I'm the one for the three this morning. I'm a press of one to be able to write it. It's a political sense to do. And also, when one sees this man flush, Taking long Repeat that, sorry, what's the last thing? And one CC and it's taking long to flush. Oh, okay. What does that indicate? Yeah. Okay. And you said the blood sugar was what? 143? 143. And the pressure was how much? 127. 127 over over. 187. Okay, good. All right. I'll give you a listen up. I give a second this evening and go be lower. Okay, go ahead. Well, listen up here and I'll explain. Yeah, so, okay. Um. So, blood sugar 143. That's a little too high for random blood sugar. So, maybe we need to do some work there. Check your water intake, how much water you're drinking. Your fiber intake is also very important. I tell people, um, if you have diabetes, quinoa is your friend. Quinoa, quinoa, that thing that is spelled with a Q, Q U I N O A, pronounced quinoa, is very good for you. Get it, try and like it, learn how to cook it, make it taste good. If you are a good cook, you could cook that. If you're saying it tastes in bland, well, then you need cooking lessons. So if you need cooking lessons, go on YouTube or go and take a cooking class. It is very good for you. If you include it in your diet, it could only do good for you, right? Um, good free advice to get in there. Um, at Bastard Associates, we carry blood sugar tea. We have a blood sugar complex, which we have gotten back in stock. Um, excellent product. Um, there's a new one we're going to get just now called Di um, Blood Sugar Restore. I can't wait to get that because um, I actually used to get it before some years ago. And um, we actually now start back getting it. We used to get some really good results with that. Um, we also have the um, the inflammation formula also helps with blood sugar as well. Uh, we use Optimizer as well because that helps as a free radical scavenger to help because, you know, with um, blood sugar, 
you know you need to maintain those um blood vessels good um as regards to the blood pressure the one to the seven eighty seven that's not bad um because uh, it's in the morning some people pressure tend to read a little higher in the morning and it goes down in the evening and some people do the reverse where they get lower in the morning higher in the evening once you're not getting astronomical figures 140 because you can't really be 60 something and have a blood pressure 120 over 80 you can it eh? but you would have to be significant there would have be there would be a number of factors that would contribute to that you would have most likely been a sports person for years you would have most likely maintained an excellent diet you would most likely be exercising up to now so there are a number of factors that would have to contribute to that so generally if you average a 140 i wouldn't kill you for that you understand what i'm saying is when you start to go over 140 in that upper number there that's systolic then you're going to be in problems some people can't even go under 130 135 i am one of those people persons my blood pressure cannot go down 125 i don't feel i wouldn't feel good so it, it's normally like about 135 or one even 40 all that good there can't go lower than that and some people are like that that was because i'm a little obsessive compulsive so <laughs> maybe that's why a type personality now but in any case that's not bad all right and um the right i think i covered everything for some reason i think there was one more thing there so i covered the pressure i covered the sugar there was something else in there you said that um uh that the feces um and... ah right the floating feces um yeah. that, that's normally lack of fiber so it means your meals need to have more fiber in it food is not solid enough for the stool to sink so it means more complex carbohydrates like more provision so more provision than rice incorporate some sweet potatoes some dashim some edos it is not a provision but people classify it in it was really green thing some of that in your diet the same quinoa flax seed chia seeds some oats have more roughage in the diet remember fiber comprises there are two types of fiber right soluble fiber and insoluble fiber soluble fiber helps to reduce blood sugar levels insoluble fiber helps to decrease the transit time rather increase sorry the transit no decrease i'm saying it correct shorter period of time ball movement so it makes your ball movement more efficient so more bowel movement in a shorter space of time i.e more efficiency okay so that's why fiber is so important. So once you see stool floating, it means you don't have sufficient fiber, sufficient bulk in your meals. Even people who complain about losing weight. Let me touch on this. A lot of people say, Dr. Pastor, I'm getting smaller. You must get smaller. You're not eating. Why are you not eating? You can't be eating small amounts of food and expect to put on weight. That can't happen. I'm not going to tell you to, I'm not going to, tell you to run to be a glutton now and eat a whole set of food. Now. But you have to you understand. Okay, think about this. If you eat bread in the morning and at day, and you don't eat anything for like maybe the next day till the next day and eat bread again you going to get trouble to go off because you didn't eat sufficient fiber and you eat bread bread and a big space in between you're going to eat problems you need a little bowl with some oats and a little raisins with some dates inside of it you make a little smoothie with some sea moss nothing no fiber in the system you are going to bind up yourself so you need to increase more fiber in the diet one if you want to put on weight and of course to maintain better bowel movement bulk and fiber <clears throat> excuse me is very important for bowel movement essentially keep in mind the alcogen water that we carry at batson associate premium alcogen water available at all of our locations uh that water of course ph 8.8 to 9.5 anyway in between there right uh orp oxidative reduction potential so it's an antioxidant water if you have any problems with headaches problem with joints problem with bowel movement take what i'm telling you try it you will like it okay let me say a pleasant good day to miss uh ashil james good morning what products do you carry for the benefit to benefit a lupus patient silver out mineral formula definitely optimizer will help definitely the thing with a lupus patient don't keep in mind inflammation formula is also going to help uh the uh, silver mineral formula is going to help uh the if they do not have allergies to shell food the omega with the astaxanthin will also help as well uh 
the thing with lupus patients do you have to gradually deal with them because of the amount of toxins that you'll have in the body so that person miss james is going to have to do a consultation preferably blood analysis magnetic resonance analysis we need to analyze that person thoroughly to give them the help that they need because dealing with high autoimmune conditions usually very well, it's not tricky but it is very technical we have to make sure and dot our eyes and cross our teeth and i'm very thorough in my work. very very thorough i don't play that right so um that's that's my suggestion to you my dear that number again for the Shabona's office triple two eight two six one keep in mind our international clients uh to book your consultations online eight six eight three seven three that's eight six eight three seven three twenty three eighty eight three seven three two three eight eight Turn that area code eight six eight. Any more questions, Mr. Carter? Yes, we have a phone call coming right now, actually. Okay. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. You're live. Good morning. Um, I'm taking some um, magnesium. When I take some magnesium after I took some vitamin When I get up, after racing, 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 racing. What do you do? I don't know what to call that. Could you repeat that again? Yeah, yeah, I hardly heard what you said. Took some magnesium. Took some magnesium, right. Yeah, I took some magnesium. Yeah, when I wake up, I don't think I took some magnesium. 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 Don't tell me the brand. Eh? Tell me the kind you took. Don't call the brand. Say the, the type it is. Where is magnesium thick? Sorry? What's the name of the magnesium you took? Not the brand. Eh? The type of magnesium. What was that? Sorry? Right, and you said, okay, right, so you get Mag 90. So you said you took it. What you took with it? You took magnesium alone, or there was something else that you got? No, I got another thing I took, but this was taking the last, the last, how much you took? Two teaspoons. Okay. No, that's the thing. No, don't take two teaspoons. Take half. No, listen. No, take half teaspoon. Half teaspoon. Half teaspoon alone. All right. All right. Not two. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, when you're using magnesium, dosage is important. Right, so two would have been a little too much. Half teaspoon, a teaspoon. Two would only be recommended if I am dealing with someone who had um, serious neurological imbalance, those type of things. And of course, we have to always balance kidneys with that. Right, so half teaspoon in that particular case. Uh, any more questions, okay. Mr. Carter? Yes, good morning, Dr. Watson. Can you please talk about hypothyroidism and what do you have to treat that? I do not want to take the pharmaceutical medication. Um, what can I do home in the meantime before I come to you? She's 65 years of age and she's 135 pounds. And she says hypothyroidism, right? Not hyper. Yes. Hypo. No, hypo. Hypothyroidism. Okay, good. Um. Okay, so when you deal with your thyroid, we know the thyroid basically is part of the endocrine system, right? Endocrine system comprises your glands. So the thyroid is a gland, which means it produces hormones. The hormones that your thyroid primarily produce would be TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone. Uh, you have T3 and T4 tests that they would normally do to evaluate um, certain things. Now, the thyroid plays a significant role in a number of functions in the body. Example, it is responsible for releasing calcium from your bones. 
at any given time. So if you have a, a, a low thyroid function, you can end up with a bone problem. And if you have a high thyroid function, you can end up with a problem where you have um, hypocalcemia, where you have excess calcium being dumped into the bloodstream because your thyroid is overworking. Right? So with someone who has hypothyroidism, that is the opposite, that is low thyroid function. Um, but any thyroid imbalance, <coughs> excuse me, is linked to mineral deficiency as well as stress. Um, as regards to what you could do home, um, look at your green intake, look at your water. Hydration, again, is everything. So I suggest you um, increase your water intake. Your body weight divided by two ounces. I think it is, they said you weigh 165 pounds, based on what I remember Carter reading there. So at least you're looking at two liters, two and a half liters of water daily. Um, include some sort of nutrient dense greens. Everybody have a moringa tree now, so if you could get your hand on that, that's going to be something that's going to give you some help there. And um, after that, you could come to Batson Associates. As regards to what we carry at Batson Associates, thyroid formula is a product we usually have. I believe we should have. Um, and then there are other, depending on what you're dealing with, because if you're dealing with like thyroid nodules, which I deal with a lot, then your protocol is going to be a bit different because we have to detoxify the thyroid and that type of thing. Um, but any thyroid malfunction is a serious thing that you need to deal with. There's something known as Hashimoto's thyroid, which is our next thyroid problem, but, um, you know, it affects um, primarily sleep and a number of different um, aspects of neurological function biological function as well so that's something you also need to pay very close attention to so um those are the things you could do in the meantime at home and of course when you're ready to give us a visit uh, then feel free to do so all right we have a phone call yes good morning your life yeah hello, good morning hi good yes morning. Yeah, um and what do you have here? I have glaucoma. I what can I use for the eye? Thank you very much. Okay. So, um, colloidal silver, if it's good to use. Yes, 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 yes. All yeses. I'm a huge advocate of the use of silver, huge. I um, recommend it to everyone who comes to me um, because of how valuable it is, especially as regards the immune, immune and building the immune system. It's exceptionally good for children, even better for babies. So definitely, yes, 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 as regards to that. As regards to silver gel and wounds, silver gel could help in the healing of wounds. However, it does not work alone. It has to have, that protocol has to be more concise because you denote a diabetic patient so i'm gonna to have to give you something to improve your blood circulation but i also gonna to have to give you something to help your body heal about five to ten times faster than it is a custom healing because remember the problem with diabetes is what delayed wound healing so what i'm gonna to have to do is put together a protocol where i accelerate your body's ability to heal itself which is why hyperbaric oxygen therapy is such a welcome thing and that's something that i'm a huge advocate of um as well um ozone therapy and those type of things all that will be coming in londonville there um to help improve so the thing is when you denote a wound you have to deal with the body inside and outside very very important and then something about your eyes with the glaucoma eye optics formula always helps persons we have so many testimonies of clients who have problems with coma um, just recently, I had someone I dealt with Saturday here, yeah, right in St. James. And she was so impressed with the eye drop. She said, thank you, thank you so very much, Dr. Batson. That eye drop worked so well. It cleared up my eyes. Um, there was one who actually, when she went back to the eye specialist, the doctor was like almost confused, like what happened there? And that was because of the eye optics formula, because it improves circulation. Anything that improves circulation in the body and improves oxygenation, is going to bring benefit anything that does that and that's why i'm such a huge advocate of the silver the mineral formula the o2 plus we're going to be getting shortly again that's a product that we used to carry and again covid just spoiled to that but um i spoke to the owner of the company recently and they actually start back this stuff so that's something we're going to be getting shortly again and all those things i like to use because it gets clients results quickly 
very quickly. So those are some of the things that you could look forward to that you can ask for. Again, those telephone numbers and our locations. We are located on the first floor of Money Talks Building. That's Money Talks Building in Montrose, Shagonas. That telephone number for Montrose is 222-8261. That's 222-8261. Keep in mind, we have open clinic days for the entire week. I will be in St. James, God's willing, on Friday and Saturday of this week. God's willing, right? Shagonas is Wednesday. Uh, so take a veil, a veil or take advantage of that. If you wanted a consultation with us all the time and you didn't have time, you wasn't getting it. Like I met someone recently in the mall and she was like, Dr. Batson, uh, I need to um, I get an appointment, but if I ask you, uh, would I be able to get it quickly? <clears throat> so I helped out. So I tried to tell people that's why we did the clinic open now because the six months to wait for appointment, you know, that kind of a little hard to tell somebody who's sick, wait six months. I mean, I would like somebody to do that to me. Um, and if the situation could be corrected, then we could correct it. So. You know, that open clinic, there is something that um, we utilizing. So keep in mind, you could always have your blood analysis done, your, your scan done, and then subsequent, you ask for an, a review with me on those days. That would make both of our lives easier and make your visit more effective and efficient to give you the results that you desire. Okay? That number for DB is 223-7515. That's 223-7515. And that office is at the corner of Ramsamoon Street and the SS Erie Main Road in Debe. Mr. Carter, sir. All right. I am very concerned with my daughter's discomfort when she keeps up her urine, uh, lower back, and stomach pain. She visited the health facility. They gave her medication for infection in her bladder, but the discomfort keeps happening over and over again. Any advice on what you can give to assist with this issue? Definitely the silver or the mineral formula, inflammation formula, um, some optimizer. So I will deal with gastrointestinal, um, urinary, um, bladder, that type of thing. Because again, those things get in the tissues. When infection goes in tissues, they're very difficult to get out of the body. Antibiotics would just deal with the surface. And, and, it, and in some cases, the antibiotics do a pretty okay job. But the thing is, long term, that environment is, con is now inflammatory still. And it, uh, any inflammatory environment is going to bring a recurrence. And that's going to stay there and become underlying and deep seated. And that's when it becomes chronic. And that's what we don't want. So definitely, they would have to visit Batson Associates as regards to, to that particular situation. Because they don't want to, that could actually cause um, uh, a serious urinary tract infection, cause buildup in the urinary tract, and cause a lot of problems, a lot of problems. Make it, could even end up causing uterine problems eventually, problems with, you know, hormones. Uh, that could just get really bad really quickly. You know, and the diet, of course, is very important. She has to pay attention to what she's eating, less than the sugar. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, some one of the questions the gentleman had asked, and now remember, is soy good to use? How can I forget that? That is something I don't really interfere with because I tell people soy is a phytoestrogen, which means it's a plant estrogen, and increased estrogen in either male or female is never good. Women, you're looking at fibroids, those type of things. Men, you're looking at ganomastia, which is male breast shrinkage of your penis, that type of thing. You want to be going through that. So, mm -mm. nope. Leave soy alone. And then the majority of soy in the market is genetically modified soy anyway. So, you yeah, really want to be interfering with that too much. Okay. Uh, someone is asking a question. This is Joan Sandy. Do you ship formulas to other Caribbean islands? Yes, we do. Um, Ms. Victory says, can you please say what products you have for patients when their silver jewelry turns dark? Yeah, well, that, that person needs advanced chlorophyll. They need alkogen water. They need silver with mineral formula, optimizer, digestive restore. That's a gastrointestinal problem. That is toxins in the body. Seven channel detox, santulan, kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin, and your lungs. Okay. All right. Miss Janelle Gan Ganes says, good day. No, Gans rather. Janelle Gans. 
Goodie, what is good for vascular insufficiency? One doctor wants to split, slit the vein. Another doctor in the hospital wants to cut the nerve. I have a wound on my foot and I am in a lot of pain. I am not overweight. Well, the thing is that, that no, don't let anybody split any vein or split any vein. Don't, don't do that. That's going to put you in a lot of problems. But if you have vascular insufficiency, it means you had poor circulation for a number of years. We could do some work there. You're not overweight, so that's good. But you're going to have to visit us. You're going to have to visit us because that circulation, to get that vein to heal properly, to get that sore heal, we have to do um, some extensive work as regards to proper supplementation, proper dietetics, proper hydration, that type of thing. Okay. David Scobie says, greetings, Dr. Batson. Is it possible for you to develop a catalog with your products? There are so many. Yes, that's something that we'll be actually working on. A lot of those things coming. Um, but of course, piece by piece, we just put in together certain things. Because believe me, we have four clinics now. And to run four clinics is not an easy thing. Um, soon to be six, five and then six, most likely six before the end of the year into early next year. So there's a lot of work and there's a lot of putting things in place to, to have things, you know, sorted out. So bear with me. And uh, we're working on that. But Batson and Associates will always be, you know, working towards improvement for you and for our service, for our clients. Okay. Um, Amira, Amira Gomez says, good morning, Dr. Batson Associates. What teas do you have for diabetes? We have the diabetic tea. We have oolong tea, poor tea. We also carry a circulation tea. All those help for diabetes. Ms. Vidya Abdul asked the question, can we get some more info on the bioresonance therapy? You mentioned it in last Thursday. What Vidya is real? Listen, that bioresonance frequency therapy that we're going to have, that's going to help a lot of persons, um, you know, with pain, persons who have problems with mobility and that type of thing because of what it actually has the ability to do um, with the body. So um, that is coming there and it is going to be actually is actually going to be at the um, Londonville office first. Then we're going to put it in all our offices, uh, primarily the ground floor ones, because those are where people have a lot of problems with their back and, and those type of things, right? And mobility issues, okay? Um, but what it does, it helps in rejuvenating cells in the body. It helps in, um, you know, the body functions at a, a particular frequency. Different cells operate at different frequency. And when the frequency is ideal, the cells perform better. You know, so it's going to improve strength, mobility, that type of thing. You're very welcome, Amir, Amira Gomez. Uh, Ms. Dixie Ann Russo says, Morning, the doc. How do you treat cysts in the liver and kidney? Kidney teas, liver teas, santulan, alkagen water, inflammation formula digestive restore miss frederica joseph says hi dr batson yes the ioptics plus works thank you for a great product do you have any adisha Gorna's branch to ship to new york yes we do miss joseph we have ioptics formula in stock miss tonia bozell name girl she says good morning doctor what can you do for a chronic kidney disease stage three Soon to be on dialysis. No, no, Miss Bozell, don't let nobody put nobody on no stage three on no dialysis. Find yourself in my office as quick as possible. I've dealt with people stage five kidney that went from stage five to stage two. Don't let nobody pull one over here yeah, with a stage three. What, what, what three is it? Three A or three B? And in fact, regardless, we have moved people from four to three, then from three to one. No, 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 no. No, Miss Bozell, let that person. I hope the person is, is open minded to this type of thing. Some of them is just, no, not I'm criticizing, I'm just saying, you know, some people tend to stay the normal way, but you can't deal with kidney normal way. You need to work on it. You need to work on it. Miss Marshall says we need the dropship service for clients in the US and Canada. Yes, Miss, Miss Hills. Yes, Miss Hills. We are working on it, Miss Hills. Leon McKnight says, Morning, doctor. I'm a 59 year old. I drink oat every morning and exercise four days every week that's excellent janelle gan says thank you you will be getting a clinic near arima soon maybe people in the east west corridor wants to come um with that is one of the possibilities that was actually the sixth one i was contemplating but there's a lot of things that we need to do so you know we're looking at at it and seeing how things go at that type of thing so 
But we will always do things to improve our service to you guys. I promise you that. I promise you that. So I know our time is very close. Uh, Mr. Carter, we are finishing at what? Uh, half past 11. Half past 11. Nice. Very good. Nice. So let me um, start to um, close up shop, as they say. So again, those telephone numbers and locations. Uh, Shagonas is the first floor of Money Talks Building. That's Money Talks Building in Montreux, Shagonas. That telephone number for Shagonas is 222-8261. That's 222-8261. Debe is the corner of Samuch Trace and the SS Erie Main Road in Debe. That telephone number for Debe is 223-7515. That's 223-7515. St. James is Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. That number for St. James is 220-8113. That's 220-8113. Tobago is Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. Sorry, Tobago is, is a Triangle Building, sorry in Scarborough, Tobago. That's the Triangle Building. That number is 226. That's 226-4553. 226-4553. Remember our open clinic days. You do not have to have an appointment. You could just walk in. If you come to do the blood and the scan, you fast for two hours. Remember, as we always say at Batson and Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Uh, we would not be having any live this evening. We'll actually have one next week, Sunday, God's willing. Or we may actually do one in a week. But of course, keep in mind, Thursday, you can follow us, like us, share us. We are Batstan Associates Limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are Batstan Associates TT. On YouTube, we are Batstan Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, it's Dr. Batson. As we always say at Batstan Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Mr. Carter, sir, always a pleasure. Yes, sir. Till next week, yes. to the listeners of Sky 99.5, God bless. Do enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Remember, less macaroni pie mahalo today. Take care. Until next week. God bless. Are you sick and can't get a diagnosis recording? Yes. So to everyone on our live was Grace Williams. Dr. Batson, please start writing a book. I'm actually working on that, you know, I, that's actually, I put it aside, but that's something I'm, I, I have plans on doing and working on. Jen Bree, good morning. Can you help someone with Parkinson's disease? Yes, we can. Um, Pamela Moses, Doc, the eyebrows, the eyebrows, I love it. it. Well, oh, Miss Pamela Moses, that natural, eh? that, that untouched and unspoiled, eh? right. <laughs> um, Miss uh, Herbert Beard says, good morning, Dr. Batson. I am from Guyana. I feel tired in my back, upper back. Can you help? What? Can you help with that? Yes, I can. And we also sent stuff to Guyana. I believe we can. Eh? Well, our friends have sent stuff to Guyana already. So we could always work on that, Mr. Beard. But I definitely have things that would be able to help you. So, guys, remember our open clinic days. Remember our next program on Thursday. Thursday, we will have our three programs as usual. We're going to be on uh, 103.1 FM. That is from 11.05 to 11.25. And then we have Freedom 106.5 FM. That is from 1.15 to 2 p.m. And, of course, we have DJ Marble Radio TT.com, which is from 2.15 to 3.15. Okay, so guys, yes. And stay tuned for our, father, our Father's promotion that's going on currently. Yes, good. Yes, we actually have a Father's Day promotion that we have. So stay tuned to that, I believe. Is it up already? Or gonna up, up, up long. Subscribe. It's up, and you could see it on our social media. So again, you guys, Batson Associates Limited on Facebook, on Instagram, we are Batson Associates TT. On YouTube, we are Batson Associates Trinidad. And on TikTok, it's Dr. Batson. Annabella Bay says, Blessed week, guys. Stay hydrated, motivated, consistent, and motivated. We got this. Yes, Annabella Bay, I like that. Sharon Theodore, thank you for always doing a good job. Thank you. You're very welcome. Betty Phillips says, Good morning, Dr. Batson. It was great listening. It was great meeting with Miss Roma and Miss Krishma yesterday at the Debe office. Awesome lady, ladies, thank you so very much. Mr. Hubert Bear says, thank you very much. My brother-in-law will contact you. Okay, great, no problem. So take care guys, God bless. Enjoy the rest of your day, bye.